Which you guys gonna have a video here for you. As you can see, we have got another tech support type scam here. Now this is a redirect here. You may get some sort of browser hijack or something like that on your system, or it may be a case that you just clicked on something and it's redirected you to something like this. And this is pretty common. There's tons of these on the internet and you don't want to fall foul to these now. They're pretty easy to deal with and uh, I know a lot of people think they're pretty easy and they're, they're stupid and I would never fall for it but there's a lot more beginner users out there and a lot more novice users that do fall foul to this type of scam. Now as you can see here they're asking you to call this number on a toll free number. Now that could be a high premium number that they've got a uh, they earn revenue from it could be a toll free number it could also be a case that they're trying to frighten you here as you can see your data is at risk credit card details banking information all that sort of stuff that you don't want getting into the wrong hands people read this see a reputable name there called Norton by semantic maybe they're what they're trying to do here is um, you uh, target people with Norton already on their system and now they're thinking that it's from Norton uh, which is a common thing Norton's a very big uh, antivirus program and a lot of people still use it so probably that's why they're projecting their attention to people with Norton so as you can see here you don't want to fall foul for this type of stuff it's pretty easy to deal with uh, never pay for it never call these numbers and uh, what you want to do is close the browser down uh, force close it down and then run some scans and I'll show you how to do that right now it's pretty straightforward now you can't generally close this out okay uh, because it's uh, forced open as soon as you click OK it'll open again uh, but what you want to do is come down to your taskbar here right click on this and click start task manager and uh, just like before you want to open up the applications tab here and uh, you want to click on the uh, Google Chrome here or Internet Explorer or Firefox or what it is you're using and then click on end task down the bottom this box will pop up behind it soon once it does its thing there you go click end now you will then see another box pop up and you want to close the program that's how you can cl close that off pretty straightforward now you may still be uh, infected with some sort of extension or toolbar or something like that that's creating that and uh, what you want to do is go to the internet and download ADW cleaner and Malwarebytes I'll show you how to do that quickly so inside Google search here once you've got your browser open now whether you're using uh, Internet Explorer um, Firefox or Chrome or any of those types you just want to type in it ADW cleaner all one word like this and then push enter or search and then look for bleeping computer ADW cleaner click on that and then hit the download button hit the download button and it will start to download now whatever browser you're using you should see in the bottom left hand corner it will start to download if you're using um, Chrome now you can also use junkware removal tool a thing to remember when you're using these types of programs uh, they do sometimes set your antivirus off and the reason why is because they are cleaning tools and it's the nature of the program but they are safe and they're free to use um, so once you've done that you can then just drag this onto your desktop here and just to run this I'll just quickly show I'm not going to do a full scan click yes now you may need to disable your antivirus program sometimes uh, but as you can see here you can now run a scan and this will get rid of all your pups unwanted programs and all that sort of junk from your browser you can run a scan on this and then hit the uh, cleaning after it's done okay now once you've got that done we're just going to quickly open this up here and then we're going to go back hit the back button and then go to Malwarebytes and you can see it's already typed out there so just uh, type malware bytes just like that and hit the free version download do that and then download this one and that'll download and as you can see here once that's downloaded you can do the same thing now once you've done that and you've run your scans you may want to reset your browser and you can do that by coming up to the top right hand side here and you want to go to uh, more tools here as you can see you can see extensions now sometimes you'll get extensions inside here you can remove them if you wish but it's much more easier if you just want to uh, reset your browser and that's what I would normally do myself so you can hit the uh, menu button here come down to settings and uh, show advanced settings down the bottom pull all the way down and then hit the reset settings okay and that's pretty much that so once you've done that 
and you can hit reset and that will reset your browser and all that stuff should be gone and that's pretty much it so I hope this one helps you out uh, big thanks to uh, Bonsai Buddy there for sending me this uh, link so I could show you guys uh, don't fall foul with this type of stuff it is pretty much uh, just tricksters and con artists and they generate from India but anyway so that's pretty much how you can uh, remove that from the system pretty easy to do no big drama uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoy these videos guys if you do then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests, uh, just like Bonsai Buddy did there, he sent me this link for this information, big thanks to him. If you've got any uh, information or any problems with computers or you just want to join the forums and join the community, then you can. The information's up on the screen right now. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.